Hello, so a quick look at the Sense Labs Pen Tablet Medium Bundle, kindly sent to me for review by the manufacturer. It's really well presented, the packaging's fantastic, and when you open it up, a nice little thank you sheet. And then inside the box, you get the main tablet, which is a really nice size and looks very cool as well with the white trim. You get a companion little box full of accessories. So this is where you'll find two pens, Bluetooth dongle and replacement nibs. There's this very cool scroll wheel additional accessory, which I'll come to later on. Two USB cables for charging and a little pouch so you can store this and carry it around or just store it if you're not using it. And finally, there's a half glove. Everything feels really nice and premium and I do really like this extra little box to hold onto your pens and nibs. Now if you've got a USB port that's USB-C only, there is a converter and this comes with a Bluetooth dongle so you don't have to plug these in if you don't want to. To use this you're going to have to install the software, it's very easy to get set up. You can customise the lighting and change that, it doesn't really do anything apart from light up on the main unit but it's nice to see you can customize that change the brightness change the color and customization is the name of the game with this product because there are buttons everywhere there's three buttons on the top of the tablet and buttons all over the pens and they can all be customized to different actions within the software very simple simply select the button you want to customize and they all come with pre-selected options but you can change all that very important if you're using windows to make sure windows ink is ticked otherwise Photoshop won't use this. Both pens have an eraser at the top and various buttons on the side and they can all be customized for different actions. You can also change the pressure sensitivity within the app. I've left this at default because you can adjust this within the application you're using as well. So with Photoshop, you change the brushes, but if you want to set it to very thick or very thin, you can do that within the app and then you just press OK and that'll apply to whichever app you're using. You can do the same thing with the eraser as well. The thin pen has the same options, but there's just a few of them because there's less buttons to customize. You saw at the start the quick keys gadget. I really like this. This is a little extra that you can have on and it allows you again to customize all the functions. It's got a scroll wheel and a range of buttons. And again, you can adjust the colors and the functionality and it works really well and brilliantly. There's text on the main display and when you change application, if you've got a different set of shortcuts set up, the text updates automatically. So very easy to use and very easy to hop between something like Photoshop and Illustrator. You can also customize the commands, so I could use it for Premiere Pro. Another great option within the main settings is the ability to restrict the screen area that the pen's operating in. So I have quite a wide monitor. If I leave it full screen, it quite often goes off the application I'm using. So I simply drag a little fence around it and that stops the pen from leaving that zone. Most people won't need it, but if you've got a widescreen like me, that's super handy. In use, it works really well. I've been using it with Photoshop. Now, I should warn you, I'm not particularly artistic. So boxes and very rough cartoons and lines are about the extent of my drone, but you can see how I'm controlling the thickness simply using the pressure. And I'm sure if you're a more talented artist than me, this will be a brilliant bit of kit. One thing I really liked as a complete novice is the buttons for undo because quite often I'll be messing around and some of the controls on Photoshop, I'll completely forget what they are. Whereas if you assign them to a particular button, then you don't need to worry about remembering where they are on the menu. I can simply press, for example, the undo button and I can take back all the little doodlings that I've been doing or if I've made a mistake, very quick and easy. I've dropped an affiliate link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next review.